it's easy. You don't get flustered. There's not traffic jams there. You know, it's just good, easy living. Well, I think probably for everyone, it's the water. You know, it's you know the water's a big thing in Kalanara. I love it. Fresh water, just abundance of it. Well, of course, what they say is that uh, once you've drunk the water of the Yord, you'll be back again. Because word's got around that we really have got one of the most spectacular parts in Australia. There's just so many places that you can go that are so close and you don't kind of come into contact with any other people and that's quite rare these days. Oh, the freedom's awesome here. It really literally is. It's still one of the last places where you can actually just go in a certain direction and go. There are some wonderful national park areas, vacant crown land areas where you can just enjoy the outdoor. No boundaries. I think I refer to it as God's own country. It, it is a very special place. We don't just have just a beach or just a mountain. We have it all. You know, what more could you wish for? Beautiful weather, blue skies, and go on holidays when the wet season comes if you don't like the heat. <laughs> Everything else is perfect. You might find me on the back roads of the Kimberley. You might see me making time fires by the green. Oh, don't you worry if I'm walking along, I'll be home in a week. For this is the land where I was born. We live in a country that is quite unique in the culture, the landscape, and the people, their, their way of life. It's a special part of Australia. You might find me on the back roads of the Kimberley. You might see me making campfires by the creek. But don't you worry if I'm walking alone, I'll be home in a week. Yeah, this is the land. I feel really lucky to be in a place like this.